So jalapeno peppers are oftentimes considered to be the world's most popular chili pepper. It has a wonderful flavor and the heat rating for jalapenos is usually considered to be medium and that would be between about 2,500 Scoville heat units up to about 8,000. Now there are some varieties of jalapeno peppers which are rated hot and I'll show you those here in just a minute. Um, but one of the most common characteristics which is exhibited with jalapeno peppers is something called corking and a lot of times this is misunderstood um, and sometimes called heat streaks but I just want to clarify a couple of things here about jalapeno peppers and corking Corking is when you see a jalapeno pepper have these little lines on the outside, looks like little cracks, and that's a genetic trait carried by most jalapeno peppers, but not all of them. Now there are a lot of different varieties of peppers, and some might be very hot and have this trait where it displays corking. However, um, there are some that might be hot and do not have that trait. So just because something has little fine lines on the outside does not mean that it's a hot pepper. Um, there are some that are rated medium heat and um, they may not have that trait at all and may never have corking on the outside, which is a lot of times what we in the U.S. like to buy at the grocery store. We don't normally like to see these little streaks on the outside of the peppers. We think it's blemished. However, in some countries it's actually sought after because there might be a variety of jalapeno pepper grown there that um, it actually has a really good flavor, a good heat rating, and then it also has that corking, which is an a way to identify maybe a popular pepper in that area. So I just wanted to clear that up. I think a lot of people confuse streaking on the outside of jalapeno peppers as being very hot. It could be very hot. It might just be a variety that's very hot. The corking has nothing to do with the flavor or the heat in a jalapeno pepper. That's merely the variety that you're um, growing or that you're buying at the market. So I hope that clears some things up for you when you're um, shopping for your next seeds for the jalapeno peppers you want to grow. If you see something that says no corking or little corkiness or something like that, you'll know what I'm talking about. And here are just a few different varieties which can get very hot. So just make sure that when you're shopping for your next um, jalapeno pepper seeds, you are aware that the environmental conditions will greatly affect the heat in whichever pepper you are growing. So thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.